Hello everybody and welcome back to our tutorial. My name is Chidi Ebere. In today's tutorial, we will be looking at how to deploy Flutter web application on Heroku. Uh, many of us might be wondering, how do I do that? Um, how do I host my Flutter uh, web application on, on, uh, on the internet? Heroku is one of my best choice because uh, it gives you a free cloud environment to test run your application, deploy it and uh, make changes. It also supports uh, uh, continuous integration and continuous uh, deployment pipelines and the rest. So without wasting much of your time, um, I'll start by creating a new project, a new Flutter project. And I would like to call my project build for Kiroku. This is it. So uh, please remember to ch make sure that web is checked. Make sure it is checked. If you are using the latest version of uh, Android Studio, this should be your interface. If you don't have this, there is a command. I will look for it during the course of the tutorial and I will share it with you for you to enable web uh, platform for uh, your Flutter project. So I'll go ahead and click on uh, build. And um, all right, our project is coming up. So um, the part of the prerequisite for this project is that you must have um, a Heroku account. Uh, if you don't have a Heroku account currently, you can you can uh, create an account and log into your account. When you log in, you have a platform such as this, and then we'll continue with this. Um, back to our project, I have my project running. Yeah, okay, it's coming up. Okay, I have my project running here. And over here, you can see web. Web is added. I have Android, iOS, and web. So, um, we already have this. Just to make uh, customize it to show you that this is actually what we are building. I'm going to change the name of this to my name. Uh, let's just call it this. And then, uh, so these are the, these are the things which are uh, I would do just to be able to show you that uh, this is actually my own web page. But before we run this on our local machine, yeah, we go ahead to select uh, Chrome and um, we go ahead to do some other things. So we select and uh, it's building. We are, I'm trying to run it locally before we deploy to Heroku. So back on Heroku, we are going to create a new app. Here we have new app, we have new pipeline, but our main focus is on the new app. So click on new app and uh, call it uh, build for Heroku. It will tell you whether it's available. Okay, it's available. So we create our application. So uh, here is a list of how to deploy on Heroku, but uh, we won't use this. I've I've listed out my own commands, which I use uh, in making this push, just to make it easier for you. Uh, everything you are seeing here is the same thing as this. The only exception is that I added this line. This is a build pack from this guy here. Let's see of this guy here. I don't know who he is, but uh, uh, almost everybody has been using his uh, build pack to deploy their project. So this is, okay, my project is coming up. So uh, normally when Flutter is loading, it takes some few uh, seconds for it to show the interface, but then we need to a way to control this. And how do we do that? By adding a loading button to tell the uh, user that please wait, your page is loading. So this is our, uh, our project, which is this, sorry, which is, everything I have here. I'm not going to do anything here. 
it's just for me to show you how to deploy so this is this running here and for us to add a loading page here so that we don't have to experience something like this empty space and uh, the user doesn't know whether it's loading or not we are going to go ahead and make some notes here just to make it easier for me so part of this is for you to if you are making use of api calls in your project you are you will need to make use of this this particular uh, metadata here uh, you can i will share the link to this project so you can copy it and um, i have to copy it so that i don't i don't make mistake while typing so come back to your project and then scroll over to where you have the web folder open your index.html and then put it in between the html and the head tag so this is where i added mine uh, okay let me just shift it a little this is where i added mine so for us to add the loading button the loader we have to add a, a link to uh a, re a reference online and this so we have these uh style sheets we add this in our head tag here before the closing head tag we add this and uh let me just move it a little so this is just to style our loader our spinner so and then this is our spinner here this is our spinner so you go ahead and copy this you can take it from my from the repository where i will be pasting it and on the body just in the opening tag for the body you add something like this so it's automatically reloading on its own you can see it's saying uh, performing hot restarts here so when we go back to this place it has reloaded then when we refresh our project we have a nice looking spinner like this you can customize it to be at the center here or to be anywhere you want it so the user doesn't get to see blank screen you see some kind of activity on the screen before the page loads so with this done we are ready to deploy on Heroku you can take a look at this this is my local host running on this spot so for this project we've created uh, our app on Heroku which I called build for Heroku and uh, in our overview the only thing that we show here which i have done is that uh, i have uh, enabled done this and this i haven't done any other thing here so we'll go over to our code here which we will be using to deploy on uh heroku so make sure you are logged in on heroku and then go back to your project open your terminal while I recommend doing it from this terminal is because you're already inside your project folder when you open the terminal here. So I'll just be copy this and paste and run so that uh, copy, I come back, I paste it. Now this will open a browser. It's asking me to enter a key. So I press enter it will open a browser to allow me to authenticate so because i'm logged on here that's why it's showing me this if i'm not logged on it will show me the login interface so i click on this and it locks me in it tells me that i've already logged in if i come back here it's already logged in so i can now use this so the next thing we do is to initialize because we are going to use git to push to our heroku platform so we initialize our project by running git initialize it's going to add uh, this dot git folder here initialize it with git and the next thing we do is to do heroku remote build so we are defining a remote location for our project telling us is that it's, it's on heroku and it should look for this particular project and uh, that's where it will be deploying it to so i do this and I press enter. It has set our remote location to this particular uh, place. So the next thing to do is to add our build path from uh, Dizep, a, a cool guy. I don't know who he is, but uh, thanks to him. Um, this will import everything we need for us to deploy our app on this on any server. 
or any cloud platform so i click on enter and uh, it's going to download some few stuff online now it's, it's done that already it's telling me that uh the next Heroku build will use this particular web pack. And for me to do that, I should do this push and it will include this uh, build pack to it. So I'll need to do git add for me to add my content, add uh, my project to git, commit it to git. First of all, add it to git. And uh, by doing this, uh, let me so it's added so the next thing is to commit putting this full stop means uh you want to add everything so i want to add everything so i want to commit to git so this is my uh, commit uh comment the comment i'm leaving here so i paste this here and it commits everything to this place so the next thing we want to do is to push our uh, our code or our project to Heroku. So you do this and push. So it's already building. It's already doing its thing. If we go, it's importing this uh, web pack which we defined here. And uh, if you go over to our overview. You can see it here it's already deploying in this place it's already deploying so let's give it a few seconds so um it's already building right here and then over here it's doing its thing let's give it a few moments and our app will be live on Kiroku. Our app will be live. So over here, we can check the progress of our build by going to this place. You will see all the things, all the activity that it is doing here. And uh, that's just it. It's doing our few building our flutter tools. And over here, I have it running locally. And then over here, I am deploying it on Kiroku. Uh, Let's just give it a few uh, moments. Okay, it's, it's enable support for web. It's doing some other stuff. Uh, don't forget, you need your internet to be on for you to be able to do this. I've seen people uh, reach out to me that uh, they are not able to make a push and uh, it happens that their internet, it's not connect or their PC is not connected to the internet or it's connected but there is no internet connectivity on it so they end up uh, getting some error or runtime error so it's building with no sound safety on and uh, you can see whatever it's doing on this other side that's what's happening here so it's giving you a real time update on anything you are doing over here so it's going to take pretty much a little bit of time depending on your internet uh, speed. Uh, let's give it a few minutes. And um, any other thing I should make mention of? Okay, let me tell you what this last code. So whenever you make an update to your, to your code, you just simply need to, if you have an existing, if you make any update, just simply need to do these first three lines here. These first three lines, this, uh, sorry, these three lines here, and it will push your code. If you have an existing project which you want to push to a remote location, this is a remote, an existing remote location, and you have an existing project, please just set the uh, remote location to the name of the app you defined, and then you are good to go. So let me check on my application. Okay. Uh, all right. This is where it has deployed my app to. So the name of my project dot Heroku app dot com. If I come over to this place, it's telling me that this is online. So this is live right now. 
So if I click on this, it will open all this. And uh, you see my nice looking, this is over the, it's on the internet now. My application is, my web application is here. You see my name, you see this, you see this, and every other thing. So that's it guys, that's how to push your Flutter web application on places like Heroku. In the upcoming videos, I will show you how to deploy on Firebase uh, cloud environment. I will also show you how to deploy on uh, AWS using Amplify and some other cool stuff you can do. So that's all for now. Thank you. See you in the next tutorial.